Jumping up and down the floor My house is an animal Today I'm on location in the Lake District. I'm driving to a place called Seathwaite, which is just south of Keswick. And from there, I'm gonna to walk to a place called Sprinkling Tarn. I've never been to this location, but it looks like it's got a lot of potential. So I'm really hopeful of getting a good image. The weather is a mixed bag of sunshine and showers. Uh, should clear up towards the end of the day, but critically, the wind is very low. So, we might, if we're lucky, get some reflections in the tarn. What's good about this location as well is that in the background of the tarn, you've got Great Gable, which is pr a prominent peak. So, hopefully, it will catch the last rays of sunlight if it's clear to the west. Um, but we'll see what we get when we arrive there. Um, I've come across this scene here and it's absolutely stunning. We've got the waterfall, we've got the river, we've got hills. It basically has everything. Now I didn't know this was here because this, this is a walk I've never done before. And this will be at its best probably in the morning. Uh, if not in the morning then in about an hour's time when the sun drops. But I can't stop and sit up and wait because I have my other location which is a few miles further down the walk. Um, so I have to ignore this and keep going, which is frustrating. Um, but it is on the list and definitely one to come back to. What's great about photographing in a location like this is that if you don't get an image, then you've not wasted your day. You've done a stunning walk and you get to know the location and you re return when conditions are better. Fortunately for me, it's looking quite good, although I won't be able to tell until I'm there because this is a new spot for me. Um, I'm running out of time and light, so I'm going to have to get a move on and I'll see you at the top. Um, I'm knackered. It was a long walk up, but I left it a bit late and I really had to rush to get here in time. But I've got a few minutes to spare. Good thing about locations like this are, because it can be quite difficult to get to and requires a bit of effort, you often find that you've got the place to yourself, which is fantastic. Uh, usually if you get to a location where the car park is two minutes away, you'll find that you're not the only photographer there. In fact, you can be surrounded by them, which isn't a problem because, you know, you have to remember that you're not stuck in traffic. You have to, you know, you are traffic. So we're just getting the last light on Great Gable now, which is fantastic. Um, I'm using an ND filter, which reduces my exposure by six stops. It's the Lee Little Stopper. Uh, this is to smoothen out the tarn because I don't like the wind on the water and it's also to capture some motion in the clouds uh, giving me a much more surreal image. We've just started to get a lovely bit of colour in the sky now so this walk and the freezing temperatures and the mad rush at the end I'm hoping that it's all been worthwhile and we've got a cracking image and if I'm lucky and I've got time I might just try and get that image there as well. We'll see if we can do that. So I would say that that walk was a success. I got one image that I'm happy with. The second image unfortunately didn't work out because the light faded so quickly, which does tend to happen at this time of year. Um, the whole thing was a bit of a rush, so I don't feel like I gave enough information in the video. So if you want more details about the walk, such as a map, and the photo shoot, such as the equipment I used, and you want to have a better look at the image, um, I will leave a link to my blog in uh, the description of this video whereby you can see all of that information. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go home. <laughs>